Fan Cover. Hey everybody, this is El Viejo Toro of the Fancy Action Now, and I'm doing this quick pickup video because I have this and I want to open it up. And I've gotten to the point now where um, anything I get in the mail, I wait uh, for you guys. So I don't want to wait anymore. So I've got some pickups that I got yesterday and I had this, I've had this for several days and I want to go ahead and open it up, okay? So, pickups, pickups before, before dessert. You hear me? PSP game. I don't think I own any. I think this is the only one that I own at this time. I might have one other one, but that's it. Uh, this is Mega Man powered up by Capcom. And I still have that reflexive when it says Capcom or Konami or particularly Atlas. I'm just like, oh man, I can't resist. So, oh, that's hilarious. Look at this. It's actually, it's actually, hold on a minute. It's not Mega Man. It's not Mega Man. Oh man, okay. It's Untold Legends. <laughs> It's the wrong, it's the wrong thing. It's Untold Legends. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. It's Untold Legends. Oh, wow. In a Mega Man case. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, man. Goodwill, you know, goodwill. You never know what you're gonna get, man. I looked at it, I like, I did this, I did one, oh, okay, it's in there. Like, just that there's actually something in there. And I didn't look to see what game it was, and it is Untold Legends. Oh man, hilarious, hilarious. Really good Mega Man powered up case, book and everything. It was almost totally complete. Maybe I'll buy game only. I'll go get game only and just complete this thing. Uh, I love it. That's the, the way I do this hobby is just so goofy. You know, I, I, I think there's some guys out there that be like, Duh, what, you burn, don't be careful. Be losing their minds. The original Assassin's Creed, I don't have it. I don't own it. I own a bunch of the, uh, you know, the other iterations, and I just played a little bit of Black Flag not too long ago on this channel. And, uh, wow, here it is. The original. I, you know, and, and my, uh, a lot of my uh, um, fellow YouTubers who are also subscribers um, mastered the art of the kill. Um, recommend this. You know, they like play the first one and then leave it at that. The first one is all of them. And I, I tend to believe that because it's a Ubisoft. Uh, it's gone. It's gone Ubisoft. So now this, and this is kind of betraying my gaming ignorance a little bit, is that I'm like, I saw this for the 360 gun. This will, actually, this these gun games actually hold their value. But there's a um, there's an original on the Xbox, the original OG Xbox, which I have played, and it's actually quite good. And I guess this is just the updated version on the 360. And I didn't know that. I'm like, wait a minute, isn't that an Xbox game? I'm like, uh, it's on the 360. I'm like, okay, this one actually has the appropriate <laughs> game and disc in there. So I'm like, well, I own the uh, I own the OG Xbox version. I might as well own the 360 version, but I never soft an Activision. Uh, so gun. God, remember when EA and Activision were just great? Anyway, another Ubisoft title which I don't own is Rainbow Six Vegas, the original one. I have. Um, I have uh, part two on the PS3, but I don't have any of the Rainbow games for the Xbox 360, so there it is. Yay. Totally complete in beautiful shape. They, it was like a little bit of a 360 haul, which is great because, to be honest, I have all the big titles for the 360, but a lot, I, you know, a lot of the you know, ancillary titles like this kind of stuff uh, you know, my, my 360 collection is not that big. My PS3 collection dwarfs it by far. And getting to be like the Wii, my Wii collection is bigger. Weird. 
So this is NASCAR 2011, the game. They had another NASCAR game, but this one just looked the part a little bit more. But it's totally complete. NASCAR 2011, the game. Yeah. And those were my pickups. Those are my Goodwill pickups. I'm kind of doing my the, the Filberto uh, 78 like soft voice approach. So um, anyway, so uh, it's just ironically enough that I just made a video about the diversity in gaming and how, and I'm going to do follow up videos on it because it's it's such a such a topic right now, uh, and it's a worthy topic. It really is. It's a worthy topic if everybody can keep themselves calm enough. Uh, I did lose a couple subscribers after I did my um, uh, game uh, after I did that video after I did that video I did lose two subscribers <laughs> oh man so but that's the way it goes this is insanewebdeals.com insanetoyshop.com Park Avenue level 3 Bronx New York so little a cute little company going on there from the Bronx level 3 4130 Park Avenue in the Bronx Isn't that great anyway so um, this is ironically enough let's crack it open let's crack it open I'm getting am I getting enough light am I getting enough light hello you too oh, no. is that better is that better okay so here we go, unbox, unwraps, let's get the unwraps down. My implement of destruction is working. <sighs> Isn't this great when you get these? I love these. They sound like Mr. Rogers. Isn't it great when you have a, a good neighbor? Check it out, insanetoyshop.com. 10% off your first order, use code 10 first. So they can track it, you know. Okay. Quantity one. Here we go. Oh, lordy lord. There you go. Oh, it's sealed too. It's a sealed copy. I didn't know that. Sometimes I wish they wouldn't do that because sometimes when I see these sealed copies, I'm like, man, I don't want to unwrap it. I want to leave it sealed. Oh, well, this has got a ding on it. This has got a ding on the seal and the package, a little bit. I'm gonna give you the close-up. Let me see if I can give you the close-up on that. It's got a little ding, which is just fine with me, because then I'm gonna crack this thing open, who cares? This already got a ding on the package, you know. What are you gonna do? That might be why it was this cheap as it was. But it's like a nice looking copy though. I mean, it's not like it's a terrible copy. Yes, yeah, somehow, somebody really like Dinged up that corner there. Yeah, that's okay. That was about me. This is Arcane Hearts Love Max! Exclamation point, five exclamation points. <laughs> Arcane Hearts Love Max. Oh, uh, yeah. Isn't that the best? Isn't that the best? Look at it. There you go. That's the better lighting right there. So, Arcana Hearts Love Max, um, great. This is, again, one of many girly fighters. So, it's an all-female fighting game, of which there have been scads and scads of, all the way back onto the, like, the Super Nintendo, I mean, again, some of them are, you know, many are Japanese imports, but still, I mean, you can go back to the Super Nintendo generation. So we're talking what? <laughs> are we talking like early 90s, late 80s? Oh, wow. So it's got an undernight in birth, along with a card, just like a promo card. Oh, it's got like an opening, okay. So it's, it, you know, I have most of these games. This is ironic. It's uh, Undernight in Birth. Again, that's like an, uh, an anime fighter. It's an anime fighter. Uh, and then, of course, there's the game itself. There's the Love Max game. And then um, Blaze Blue Chromo... Cro 
is a continuum shift or chromo phantasma I think it's chromo phantasma yeah chromo phantasma and guilty gear X erd so I own all those <laughs> So, yeah, I own every, now that I have Arcane Hearts, every game on this promo code is in my collection. Guilty Gear, Exerd, Sign, Blaze Blue, Chromo Phantasma, Love Max, Arcane Hearts Love Max, which I just got today, and Undernight in Birth. Oh, and by the way, every one of these games, prominent female characters, and this one is all female. All female. Arcana Hearts Love Max. It's just got like a little slippy slip. It's cute though. Yeah. It's cute though. You got a little pom pom action going on there. It's very cute. Very cute. Win the gold medal of love. So there you go. Arcana Heart Love Max, the one I was missing out of this Arc System Works collection. Enters the collection with a slight ding, with a slight ding, but um, so what? God knows I don't care about that. Because if you left it sealed and you, God forbid, you tried to like sell it at a show or something, somebody like, yeah, well the seal's broke and you got a little ding, so it's not mint, so it's like whatever regular price. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so and I don't care. I'd, I want to play it. I want to play it. So. I'm a fighter fan. Um, I've always been a fighter fan. What I love about um, fighters is um, you can pick up, just pick them up. You can develop like uh, you know skill, um, and then you can just like have. You know what I have is I have kind of uh, a, a certain fighting style regardless of what game I play. And um, you know if I if I learn the specials, if I get good at the specials. It's good. It's gravy, man. I like pulling them off when you know when they when they come off. Uh, it's great to pull them off. I like being surprised every now and again when you accidentally pull pull a special. That's really nice. The, you know, there's some guys that are so like twitchy that they can like just you know perfectly spam specials and you know stuff like that. That's that's not really me, but it's like um, uh, I, I I like being able to just pick up a fighter and play until I get the beat down, and that's it. And you know. Like I said, you get that sweat going, and you just you just have a good old time. So, all right, Akina Hearts Love Max, probably some gameplay coming in the future. This is LVA Hutoro doing a video just so I can unbox this and get on with my life. Fancy action now for the people, for the gamer. Like and subscribe. Why don't you? Peace out. Fan. -tool.